How badly does this keyword not provided piss you off? The bad news is you can't dig them out. The good news is I'm going to show you 11 Google Analytics reports for SEO that kick fucking ass. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Ryan Stewart here with Webris. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be showing you 11 Google Analytics reports for SEO and my custom SEO dashboard that I use. Now, a lot of people, especially SEOs, do not use dashboards, um, either for lack of knowledge or pure laziness. Um, a dashboard is a collection of related reports. You can add up to 12 in here. Um, they're pretty much shortcuts that put it all into one screen for you, all the data that you need to group it. So I have dashboards for campaigns, uh, for direct traffic, and especially for SEO and organic traffic. Now, if you don't want to watch the rest of this video right now, I highly advise to click the link below this video because that link is going to take you to my blog. And on my blog, I have a direct link to this very dashboard. All you have to do is click it and it will upload automatically to your Google Analytics account um, and it will pull through whatever data that you tell it to. Um, if you're just looking to get great SEO data from your website, you can use it or if you're an SEO agency, I strongly recommend that you implement it because your clients will go apeshit for it. My clients love it. Um, all I have to do is share it with them. I really don't have to do any month reporting. They can come in here and look at it themselves. So it's going to save you a lot of time. Uh, a lot of that rank track bullshit that you're trying to send people, this report is everything, right? So click the link below and you can have it for free. I don't want anything. Just go take it. Now, if you're interested, I'll walk you through each one of these dashboards and what they mean. Now, again, this is an SEO related dashboard. Um, without direct keywords in here, there's still a lot of unbelievable data that you can get that so many SEOs just don't know what the fuck they're doing, so they don't get it. Um, so dashboard number one here, this is pulling from the traffic report with just an organic traffic segment. So this is going to pull through uh, the or amount of organic traffic for whatever time period that you stipulate up here. This right here is just the uh, daily visits from organic traffic. So again, same report, but it's just the ch charted version. I think it's nice to look at. Um, this right here is the organic goal completion chart. Uh, you have to have goals set up on your website. On this website, I have a uh, form submission set up. So if somebody comes to the website through a search engine and submits a form or sub subscribes to a newsletter, then it will trigger this. Um, again, this is only from organic traffic. This right here is a breakdown of search engines. Uh, it's, <laughs> for this site, it's Google dominates. Uh, I have other sites that's a little bit less, but for the most part, Google is is... The number one search engine but it is helpful to know um, this organic engagement report is very important so Google is looking at much more than just old-school on-page factors like keyword density uh, semantic markups uh, image optimization and link building it's also looking at engagement factors now because from Google's point of view if they serve a result let's say you go to Google and you type in how to get YouTube video transcripts right and it takes you to this landing page you are right here and you spend a half a second on the page and click back out because it was a shitty result. In Google's mind, they say, okay, this probably doesn't match up to that query. And what happens is these are going to bounce down the ranking. So it's very, very important to keep your eye on uh, time on page and bounce rate. If bounce rate for landing pages are very high, you might want to go in there and look at the content once on the page and make sure that it's matching up for the keywords that you're ranking for. So this is a very, very important report to keep an eye on. This is a great report if you're an SEO agency, if you have local clients, or if you're a local website, local business, because what this report does is it pulls through uh, the location of the organic traffic. So if you're a Miami boat shop uh, and most of your traffic is coming from London, then you might have a problem, right? So this will help you out with geolocated traffic. This report is one of my favorites. This site doesn't get a lot of internal searches. And this report also requires you to set up internal search queries. It's very easy to do. I have a post on my blog about how to do it. Um, there's also a ton of information on the web. But this is very important because too many SEOs, they, they obsess about how people are finding your website. But to be honest with you, 
if you're good at what you're doing, if you're optimizing your page to rank for the keywords that you want to rank for, it doesn't fucking matter how people are finding your website, right? What matters is what happens when they come to your website. So if people are using uh, your internal search to find keywords that are not on your site, this is going to be a great indicator because all you have to do is pull the keyword searches and see what people are searching for. If you're posting about YouTube and they, they're finding your website through this page here, they're clicking through, they can't find what they want, and they're coming here and they're searching for Vimeo, then you know you might have to add some content about Vimeo. This is a very, very, very important uh, UI report. Uh, this report over here is entrances by users and keywords. This is just pulling through. Uh, it's filtering out the not provided keywords and it's pulling through the rest. So this is kind of a slow site. It's a weak site. It doesn't get a lot of organic traffic. But some of my clients that do, you know, a million website uh, hits a month from organic, this is actually a very useful report because you can see the keywords. This right here, um, it's somewhat important. I like it just because... Uh, I think it's very important to keep an eye on where your traffic is coming from, from in terms of mobile or desktop. Um, it's important to know how users are behaving and how they're finding your site and how they're accessing it. Um, so what this does, it pulls through the total uh, mobile, desktop, and tablet, and then the organic segment of that as well. This report right here, this is great for link building. Uh, this is a referral and link analysis report. So what this does, it pulls through your top referrals uh, for that time period, as well as the goal completions. Now, <clears throat> traditional link building is go out, find the most powerful website with the highest DA, highest TF, um, and try and get contextual links, right? That's great, uh, but I, I'm more of an all-around marketer, I think, in terms of end results. I mean, I have a private blog network, but to, it drives no traffic, right? That's why organic link building is better. I like to look at sites that are driving not only the highest quality link, but the most traffic and the most goal completions for my website, right? Because at the end of the day, I don't give a shit about rankings. What I care about is this. I care about leads. I care about goals that I'm valuable actions that are being taken place on my website. The final load dashboard here is uh, page time load. Again, this is a very, very, very important SEO Factor. This is looking at the average, uh, the highest pages on your website that are loading the slowest. So look at this piece of shit page right here. It's taking almost 60 seconds for it to, all, to fully load. That doesn't mean that the content is, is blank. It just means that um, I know this post that it needs to be optimized. It has a ton of huge images on it uh, that need to be compressed. It's got a ton of videos. It's got a couple of GIFs on there. So what I'll do is I just uh, actually... Uh, share this report with my developer um, and anytime it gets so a page load gets over like five seconds like these shitty pages um, I'll have him take a look at it he goes into the Google page insights uh, page speed insights takes a look at it and fixes it for me so that wraps it up those are the 11 reports that I have um, again they're very very useful for clients they're very useful for internal stuff um, and if you want this exact same dashboard all you have to do is click the link underneath this video um, it will auto upload to your account and it will pull through whatever website uh, that you have in your Google Analytics so again my name is Ryan Stewart uh, I hope you enjoyed this video please comment please like please share until next time take care